New dinosaur discovered between Yi Chi Chilisaurus and that other feathered raptor discovered in China, which names I can't pronounce and will not pronounce. 2015 has been a crazy year for discoveries and it just got crazier, and holy crap, I'm happy and excited about this one. What if I were to tell you we just discovered a giant feathered raptor in North America? Yes, this is true. We have just recently uncovered Dakota Raptor, a new and massive raptor species discovered in where else? South Dakota, in the famous Hell Creek Formation. Discovered by a team that included the famous paleontologist Robert T. Backer, the partial remains, the famous killing claw, femur, and arm of Dakota Raptor was recently released early yesterday. And let me tell you guys, this guy is going to change a few things. First of all, this guy was a close relative of the also very large Utahraptor and Dromaerosaurus and distant relative to the much smaller and famous Velociraptor. Another very awesome thing we should talk about is the body of Dakota Raptor. From size estimates based on related species like Dromaeosaurus and Utah Raptor, Dakota Raptor stood as tall if not taller than a man and had a length of 5 meters or 16 and a half feet. This is a massive birdie and only rivaled by Utah Raptor as largest man raptor, the group that contains birds and raptors, roughly the size of the raptors from Jurassic Park. Terrifying indeed. Another important thing to note is the body structure. Now, Dakota Raptor's ra body is very weird, because unlike Utahraptor, which is less built like a small raptor and more robust and thicker, Dakota Raptor is built more like a small, agile raptor like Dromaeosaurus, which is strange. Dakota Raptor is built more agile and thinner, like what you would expect from a small raptor, but Dakota Raptor is massive. This suggests Dakota Raptor was built more for speed and chasing, a little like the modern cheetah. Another interesting thing of note is the killing claw, which is massive from the size of this animal. From the fossil, Dakota Raptor had a huge killing claw on the middle toe. It measured 16 centimeters from top to bottom and 24 centimeters along the outer curve, which is much larger than you would expect from an animal this size. So this guy had a ridiculously large middle toe claw. And still, another awesome thing to note is that Dakota Raptor has irrefutable evidence that it had feathers. Finally, a large raptor with direct evidence. On the ulna, a bone in its forearm bears 15 large and distinct quill knobs. As discussed in previous videos, quill knobs are reinforced attachment points on the wings of birds and other dinosaurs where long veined feathers attach to the arm. This has similarly been seen in Velociraptor. This makes Dakota Raptor the largest dinosaur to date with direct evidence of wings. This only supports and reinforces previous phylogenetic bracketing, which suggested even large raptors had wing feathers. And like other raptors, the Dakota Raptor was entirely covered in dino fuzz and other types of feathers that only stop at the mouth area, making it look like it had a beak. It also had a tail fan of feathers. These guys probably looked a lot like giant groundhawks and eagles that hunted on the ground and had a massive tail. Dakota Raptor was discovered in the Hell Creek Formation, a fossil bed that preserved all kinds of late Cretaceous animals. Dakota Raptor lived 66 million years ago, meaning it survived until the bitter end and was killed off in the KPG mass extinction. And because this guy is from the Hell Creek Formation, this means Dakota Raptor lived directly alongside such favorites as T Rex, Triceratops, and Azdur kids. So get ready for people speculating T Rex and Dakota Raptor fights. Dakota Raptor is very cool because it shows us a new view of the Lake Cretaceous ecosystem, a medium-sized predator niche. Dakota Raptor was probably the wolf or hyena of its time, living in the shadow of the giant feathered T-Rex. It appears to be built for ambush and grappling with prey, unlike the sub-adult and juvenile Tyrannosaurus, which were long-legged pursuit predators, which it shared its environment with and it was close in size with. The situation with Dakota Raptor is rather strange, considering we have discovered dinosaurs from the Hell Creek Formation for over 100 years and only now we have discovered it, when we have discovered dozens of T-Rex specimens, but no Dakota Raptor specimens until now. Dakota Raptor must have not been as common in the region and therefore was more rare to fossilize. Some paleontologists are starting to call it the ghost of the forest, for it basically being a fossil record phantom, eluding discovery for so long. Even with such a recent discovery, the Saurian Project, a rather awesome paleontology video game in development at the moment, has announced plans to include Dakota Raptor in the game, which is amazing! Dakota Raptor is a big and new discovery, and I personally can't wait to learn more about this interesting ghost of the forest. So, I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching, and oh yeah, happy Halloween. Watch out for ghosts! <laughs> get it? Because Dakota Raptor was the ghost of the forest. Get, get it? <laughs> I'm so sad inside.